I'm Will Primos, and you're watching Paul Court Bowie Channel. South Texas, 2019. Again, this December with my good friend Will Fawcett. It's our second afternoon, and the temperatures have dropped from 84 degrees yesterday to 34 degrees today. This 50 degree drop in temperature from yesterday has the deer really on the move. We pass this deer as it's estimated he's around four and a half and they feel he has more potential. The things all good stories start with. Next in strolls our target deer, a five to six year old dandy that has reached his potential. The cut on his back is from me this morning it's a crazy story, but we'll get into that in a little bit. I cannot believe that. That buck came in this morning and I bounced an arrow off his back and you can see where I hit him. So we get in the cool blind and deer were just moving right away. Looked, I mean, looked unbelievable. You can see how I'm bundled up. I got all kinds of layers on. Got the little heater going. This buck comes in and really I panicked because I should have just waited and he probably would have came in uh, into the feeder. He ducked a little bit and the arrow bounced off his back going up in the air. There's four different feeder options that we can have that are set up for bow hunting. And we end up, you know, really, they all, I guess the deer were pretty random. We were seeing some of the target bucks that we wanted to get, but they're all very random. So we decided to come back to here because this is our spot because last year I got a nice buck here last year out of the same blind at the same feeder. And so we came back here, and uh, I was a little more patient this time. I was a little concerned because I was shooting pretty close to the feeder, but I thought, man, I can get it in there at it was 21 yards, you know. Yeah. Like, I can get it in there at 20 with a little something extra like on He it. seems kind of lovesick. And sure enough, here comes floppy doe, floppy ear doe, and he comes in right behind her, big mark on his back. Well, you tell me, what are the odds? Tell me, what are the odds of killing that deer the same day? I'm telling day? you, man, it's magic. I mean, like, do you have your lucky well, hat on? We knew that doe came out and he was on that doe. Yeah. Money. Yeah. Do you have your lucky hat on? I got it with me. No, it's not on. You jinxed, you tried to jinx us, man. It worked. It really did. Put a shot on it. And, uh, and a good shot. And when it was running away, it, I could see, you know, at, at first I thought it was kind of back a little bit, yeah. but it, it was quartering in a little bit there, and, it, and when off the opposite side as it ran away, I could see blood coming out of it. Money. So it looked, yeah, it's money. There's blood, look at the blood here on that tree. <laughs> yeah. Cup and blood. So he's here. Oh, this came out of his mouth, mouth and nose. It's, it's definitely lung head, he's got that. He's bleeding good, but we went over 100 yards, so we back out to give him more time. We came back after four hours and tracked him to a pond. We couldn't find where he had come out, so we had to wait until morning. After we shot it, went tracking it, didn't like it, because he'd gone quite a ways, so we backed out. We came, gave him like four hours, and tracked him to this pond, and he was gone. We couldn't find him, so we waited overnight, hoping he would float. Ooh, that's close. Oh. There you go. That's got to help. Oh, you got him by, oh, you had him by the head. You had him by the head. You're getting closer, man. God, I heard it clank on the horn. Now if I just would grab it. If 
I suppose he's. Oh, it's pro you're probably dragging him across the I bottom, right? Sure. Is how deep is it there? So you might be able to just wait out and not get wet, huh? Or at least, look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, the boots aren't waterproof. Oh, they're not? No. Oh, darn it. Oh, that is so cool, buddy. And look at look at the shot too. Look at the bubbles coming out of the look at where that look at where that arrow came out. It's all bubbly. I should be helping you, but I'm trying to video, sorry. God, that what a great buck, huh? And we got him. I cannot believe that that sucker, I mean, look at that. Can you believe that? That is, you know, but it is a little bit back. I mean, but that's where the arrow came out. And I mean, we looked at the video footage and we thought he is smoked. And I mean, you tell, I guarantee you there ain't nobody that wouldn't say that isn't a good shot right behind the shoulder. I mean, come on, just a big stud of a deer too. <laughs> I mean, like what a great, great, great hunt. This is one of the most unbelievable deer stories I've ever been a part of. Shoot him in the morning, bounce an arrow off his back, get him in the evening, chase him into a pond, he sinks out of sight, we have to come back this morning and, and, uh, and he's floating. We got him. Unbelievable deal. And it was a good shot. It's just one of them freaky deals, you know. But thanks a lot, Will. Thanks a lot, Lone Oak Adventures. What a great hunt. Great place. Thanks, bud.